The whole concept of unbaptized children in hell really comes from the kind of medieval belief system that children who die before uh, they're baptized, they'll spend eternity in limbo, which is the first circle of hell, and it's kind of the perpetual waiting room of uh, eternity. The design itself, early on, we had a pretty small team, and we uh, contracted with Wayne Barlow. One of Wayne's great contributions to the whole character design was bringing in the umbilical cord and the placenta, and it was just super creepy and then just you know, very, very Wayne Barlow. And then someone came up with, how about we sever the arms and the bone goes into a blade? And they attack you as this large pack. Suddenly when the babies were cooing and giggling as, as they were chasing, and then when you started hacking at them with your scythe and they started crying like babies do, um, it became much more real and much more disturbing and wow, I'm, I'm attacking baby. The introduction of the baby was important to me. When you walk in that room in limbo and you see the baby for the first time, I really wanted that to be believable as a baby, sort of like a toddler look to it. And anybody that's got kids knows that there's just a very unique way that they walk. And I just didn't think hand animating that uh, as good animators as we have was gonna do it, and I really wanted to motion capture a toddler to just get that walk. When Jordan first approached me about using Mario in a game, he was just really thinking out loud, and uh, we started to talk about it very casually, not even knowing if it was actually gonna be a possibility. It was just an idea. JK brought in his son to play one of the roles. It's an unbaptized baby. Typically, we don't uh, capture a, a ton of infants or, or young children, so it is a challenge in itself. It took like an hour for the crew to put all those marks on him. He was so patient. I was such a proud mama. To have an 18-month-old baby on the set dressed up in the mocap suit um, was just such a treat for everybody. It's just not something anybody on the set had ever really um, seen before or done before, so it was a treat, and it just made that day kind of a little more fun than, uh, than any other day. I just thought it was actually kind of the different thing that you do with your family. Instead of just a typical stroll in the mall or an outing at the park, I thought that's pretty awesome. The only thing as a mom was for me to make sure that um, he would not touch the hundreds and thousands of camera all around him. And uh, you know, that was pretty um, stressful, but, but fun and surreal. Uh, it worked out really, really well today, and I think everybody was kind of happy about that because they didn't know what to expect. Uh, so we may actually have an actor on our hands. I think the, the bug might have caught him, you know? <laughs> I saw a fire that overcame a half world of darkness. That's the card. It's a weird idea that babies would be in hell, and so our babies are definitely pretty upset about their fate, and, and um, they're gonna attack the player, they're mad, and they're gonna swarm him, and, and uh, it'll get pretty crazy. But in that first moment when they kind of climb out and they start walking toward Dante, I definitely want people to be a little bit confused about whether they're supposed to attack or wait and see, or you know, just you know, sort of think about how they feel about it.